I'm here today again with Tina Tomasik from Pepperstraw to talk about uh, some more of the Panthera. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. Can um, you explain uh, a little bit about the construction? Absolutely. Here at the, um, at the fair we've prepared two tables where we showcase the materials and technologies which are used to build the Panthera because people usually don't understand what is beneath the skin. We've learned that during the previous years and when you say that the airplane is made of composites, it not, it's not really clear to people what it means. They only see the white paint job and maybe some livery stickers, but they don't, re they don't realize um, what's actually inside. So we've prepared four typical arrangements of materials um, to try to explain how the aeroplane comes together. Of course, the basis is the raw fiber. Pantera uh, utilizes three different fiber types, the carbon fiber, the glass fiber, and the Kevlar, which is there to protect the cockpit. And um, the technology involves soaking the fiber with resin. This is how it looks like. Um, the the um, fiber then becomes, fi um, because becomes hard and sticks to, uh, to, the, to the adjacent layer. Um, here, next to this sample, we have a laminated structure already. So when you have multiple layers of carbon fiber in this case, and you soak it with resin, this is what you end up with. It's a rigid, it's a rigid structure that also has a shiny surface. But because uh, composites are sometimes sensible to temperature, you need to coat them, to paint them with a lighter pigment, with a lighter paint, so they stay below the critical temperature. Um, what is even more amazing though is the sandwich samples. So in order to get the correct stiffness and flexibility at the same time, for example on the wings and the fuselage, and prevent buckling, uh, buckling is a phenomenon where the sur surface becomes uneven under load and it can cause collapse. We utilize um, a technique where two, two layers are actually separate by an insert of either foam or honeycomb. For example on the Pantera the wings are made in a foam technique. The foam can easily, easily or relatively easily be bent in, uh, in one dimension, whereas the honeycomb allows, allows much more complex structure such as the fuselage conical shape towards the tail. And um, this is essentially the four main technologies uh, as far as composites construction go and uh, they are utilized in, uh, in the Pantera in various regions. The honeycomb varies in thickness in the Panthera from I think you said 6 mil to 25 mil, is that correct? Yeah, more or less in, in different areas. Um, basically the material is placed strategically so it's a lot of an even thickness everywhere. It has to do with weight optimization and it has to do with local reinforcements. So basically you only uh, increase the strength of the material where you actually need it to keep the overall structure light. This has to do with computer optimization and uh, years of experience. And for people that don't uh, know about this technology, what is actually stronger, the honeycomb sandwich or the foam sandwich? It really depends on the thickness itself and how, the thick, the, the, how thick the laminate um, on both sides are is because when you use a sandwich construction you need two sides of laminates the bottom so you've and the got top. you've got the, the bottom layer correct the top layer and, and then, then the, the insert. insert correct uh, usually for a given weight of material honeycomb is stronger the honeycomb also does not get completely saturated with resin does it correct only the the layer that sticks to the adjacent uh, laminate is only on top there's no resin in between these little cells mm -hmm. that you can see here now next to it we've got some leather samples uh, yeah. from the Panthera and uh, there's actually six different colors used in the Panthera. Actually there's three different colors but six different textures um, in this particular aeroplane. Um, Pipistro has partnered with a European company called Boxpark. They are in the high-end business um, of car upholsteries. For example they, uh, they equip uh, really high-end cars, Bugatti, Lamborghini, Audi, BMW, Mercedes-Benz. Uh, but they also produce a special type of leather which conforms to uh, FAR 25 regulations. It means it's uh, fire retardant. Um, it also has a cooling effect, so when the sun is shining, you don't have this heat accumulation in the leather itself. And uh, there's a really a huge palette of, of colors. For the prototype, we've chosen three, uh, the cinnamon brown, the, um, the charcoal, and a warm white. With, with different with different imprints, different textures. Correct. This is to give breathability to the material and also different feel in different areas. I must say it, it really does add a new level of uh, of luxury to the aircraft. Absolutely. I mean, uh, the level of quality in in the interior is second to none. Boxmark really did an amazing job on this project. On the next uh, stand over here, we've got some of the undercarriage. 
made of titanium. Correct. Uh, Panthera is not only um, about advanced materials and the composite construction, also the undercarriage is, is non-standard. We've decided to use titanium as the main material for the undercarriage struts um, because it's really, really light and resilient to vibration. Also, it's uh, completely corrosion-free and here in front of me I have a a piece which actually is the main part of one of the aft landing gear struts. It weighs about two and a half kilograms and it's made of uh, grade 5 titanium. So the same material that you would find in uh, stealth fighter jets, for example. And it's also made by a Slovenian company who's famous for making uh racing motorcycle exhausts. Correct. Uh, the company Akrapovic partnered with us on this project. It's uh, basically their first product where a hybrid technology in bonding titanium is utilized. So we have cast elements, these fork elements and the triangular shapes, uh, tubular elements and weld, welded on elements. Um, it's really um, a high-tech piece. As far as we know, we're pretty much the only ones utilizing this mixture of of technologies but the result is a super lightweight resilient piece that uh, will perform um, probably forever. And the uh, technology used is, is this main tube is actually uh, starts off as, as flat sheet Correct. and it's cold rolled or forged into a tube and then welded. It's uh, rolled into a tube and pressure welded. Uh, it's a technology which has been using uh, for exhaust as well but this is a much thicker tube and they've had to produce the tube out of grade 5 titanium as well. Usually they don't need aircraft, they don't use aircraft grade titanium in their recreational products, but here the requirement is, is a must. And finally we've got a demonstration of the uh, throttle quadrant. Yeah, uh, we believe that the piloting experience in uh, Pantera um, really is great, also thanks to the tactile feel uh, one has when touching the, the levers. Here there's an example of the central console which combines the three classic levers, throttle, prop, pitch and mixture. Um, but we also showcase the patented 3D trim, 3D trim design and the fuel selector so people can, even the ones who are not allowed into the aeroplane or it's not possible to enter the aeroplane because of all the, all the people on the stand, uh, they can uh, have the feel of the pilot by trying out the Pantera experience right here at the stand. Tina Tomasik from Pipistrol, thank you again. You are welcome.